The role of gas in jump-starting the nation's economy cannot be overemphasized. By leveraging gas for power generation, Nigeria can diversify its energy mix, reduce dependency on unreliable power sources, and increase energy security that would ultimately help sustain economic growth and drive industrial development. That's our major story tonight. Hello and thanks for joining us. This is Energy and You a weekly highlight of developments in the Nigerian energy sector. We focus on the activities of NNPC Limited. I'm Egusa Egumbo. Welcome. Also on the program, federal government drums support for sports development in the energy sector ahead of the 19th Nigerian oil and gas industry games with a promise to ensure its sustainability. And NNPC Limited re-echoes its unwavering commitment to adding value to the nation's economy. We'll bring you the full details of these stories and more in a moment. Please join us again. Thanks for staying with us. Let's begin with a global outlook on trending stories in the energy sector this week. Oil prices fell on Monday as market participants dialed back risk premiums following Iran's weekend attack on Israel that the Israeli government said caused limited damage. Brent futures for June delivery fell 0.5% to $89.95 a barrel. Iran's attack involved more than 300 missiles and drones and was a fest on Israel from another country in more than three decades, raising concerns about a broader regional conflict affecting oil traffic through the Middle East. Japan's largest power company, Jeraco, has created a global renewable energy business to be headquartered in London, as it seeks to increase low-carbon investments to meet decarbonization targets. The unit, named Jeranex, will develop, invest in, own and operate renewable energy projects such as onshore and offshore wind, solar energy and battery storage. Chief Executive Natalie Osterlink said the aim is to develop 20 gigawatts of renewable capacity by 2035, starting with a 3 gigawatt portfolio of renewable assets and is considering investments across the globe as well as in its home market, Japan. China's national offshore oil company one of the country's top importers of Russian oil has in recent months been pumping shipments of Expo blend from Russia's Far East into a newly launched reserve base, according to traders and tanker trackers. This is the first time stockpiling of Russian Expo blend crude at Sinox's new reserve base has been reported. India has asked companies to operate underutilized gas-based power plants in May and June and extend operations of imported coal-based plants until October 15 to meet anticipated high demand for electricity according to two government orders. The South Asian nation registered an 8% rise in electricity consumption in the financial year that ended last month and demand is expected to rise in the hot summer months. Nigerian company Nipco Gas has completed plans to open four new CNG stations in Lagos to promote an alternative to petrol. The four facilities will be open for commercial operations by the end of April to become the first in Lagos. According to Nagendra Verma, the managing director of Nipco Gas, the firm has been involved in auto gas development and growth since 2009. You're watching Energy and You. The federal government has pledged support for the Nigerian oil and gas industry games. This was the high point of a visit to the Minister of Sports Development, Senator John Eno, by Dr. Ifeinwa Mojo Ais, the Chairman Local Organizing Committee of the Games. Here are details of that meeting. Welcoming the LOC Chairman to his office, the Sports Minister, Senator John Owa Eno, expressed delight at the industry's commitment to sports development, saying with that level of determination, the sustainability of the Games is not in doubt. He assured the committee of the ministry's support and collaboration to elevate the Games to greater heights. I thank you, you know, first for the initiative and for sustaining 
the initiative and the dream. The Ministry of Sports Development is available, you know, to partner with you and to collaborate with you in terms of, I mean, I didn't listen to you make any particular request. You simply wanted me to be aware of these games. Now that I'm aware, I'm sure we can take it to the next level. To what extent will our collaboration help to elevate the games beyond what they've been so far? He disclosed plans by the ministry to observe a National Sports and Fitness Day annually to promote physical and mental wellness nationwide and across industries. But maybe one of the things I'm going to announce as an upcoming event is that the Ministry of Sports Development is also trying to achieve one thing, and what's that? To see how we can celebrate sports and fitness at least once every year in our country. We call it the National Sports and Fitness Day. National Sports and Fitness Day. I mean, to celebrate, celebrate sports, celebrate, you know, physical, mental wellness, you know, to see how, I mean, too many times and often times in sports, we're more likely to be thinking about competition. We're more likely to be thinking about the youths, the young people. When we say, for example, that about 65 or more percent of our country's population is youth, and therefore we've got a youth base, you know, a huge population that makes us and we should be the pride of sports, not just in the sub-region, not just in the continent, but internationally. Speaking earlier, Mrs. Mojo Eyes said that the Nogig 2024 edition, like others, will focus on elevating employee well-being and productivity, stressing that this year's theme, Empower Wellness, Ignite Productivity, underscores the belief that a healthy workforce is key to enhanced productivity. So we focus on this importance because of the benefit not only to the individual, but to the company itself. Because any company that has a healthy workforce will have what we had said, an organization that is quite productive. Even within the point of being active and after retirement. So you reduce a lot of cost for the company in terms of medical cost, and in terms of being healthy mentally and physically, psychologically, and otherwise, there is so much benefit when we talk about sports. She disclosed that 13 oil and gas companies and regulatory agencies will be participating at the week-long tournament. They are NMPC Limited, Seplat, ExxonMobil, Chevron, Total Energies, Shell, and Petroleum Training Institute's PTI. Others are OANDO, Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, NUPRC, Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, NMDPRA, Petroleum Technology Development Fund, PTDF, Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board, NCDMB, and Aradel. We had it then in Abuja, and every other year we've held it in Lagos. But we felt that for us to acclimatize and get appointed closer to the, 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 the seat, it would be nice for us to bring it back to Abuja, to be closer to your office and other ministers involved, the Minister of Petroleum Oil and Minister of Petroleum Gas, and wonderfully the Minister of FCT, and our own leaders of the oil companies, of the 13 companies. This year's edition of the Games will be hosted by the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. The collaboration and support of the Federal Ministry of Sports Development is a pivotal step in strengthening collaboration between the oil and gas industry and the sports sector, with a shared goal of enhancing employee well-being and productivity in Nigeria's oil and gas sector. Meanwhile, NMPC Limited is poised to do an encore in the forthcoming industry games as they are the defending champions. To this end, the team has resumed camp in Abuja ahead of the main games to enable them to synergize and familiarize themselves with the environment. NMPC management recognizes the significance of the game and has assured the team of total support while urging them to repeat the performance at the 18th edition in Lagos, which the company won. We are the largest single asset holder in Africa's oil and gas industry. 
and poised to be the dynamic global energy company of choice. We are constantly innovating to be the prime company for energy sufficiency. We are NNPC Limited. Energy for today. Energy for tomorrow. The Group Chief Executive Officer of NNPC Limited, Mr. Melikiari, has reiterated the crucial role of natural gas in fueling economic growth and industrial developments in Nigeria. He spoke at the public presentation of the book, The Rise of Gas, from Gas Link to the Decade of Gas. The book is authored by engineer Charles A. Osezua. Take a look. Represented by NMPC Limited's Head of Relationship and Stakeholder Management, Mrs. Oluwakemi Olumuiwa, the GCEO highlighted gas global acceptance as a crucial energy source that sustains economic growth and drives industrial activities. The GCEO, who underscored the significance of prioritizing natural gas production and supply, particularly in the context of geopolitical dynamics and energy security in the global economy, stated that with Nigeria boasting substantial gas reserves exceeding 200 trillion cubic feet and the potential to reach 600 trillion cubic feet, the GCEO said it is pertinent Nigeria leverages the gas resource for sustainable development, energy security, and job creation. He noted that the book aligns with the federal government's Decade of Gas initiative aimed at optimizing Nigeria's abundant gas reserves for both domestic consumption and international export. Kiari added that as a key stakeholder, the NMPC Limited has played a leading role in advancing the Decade of Gas agenda through strategic investments in critical gas infrastructure such as pipelines and processing facilities. With over 200 TCF of reserves and a potential growth of 600 TCF, there will be enough gas to support the growth in the power and industrial sectors, address energy poverty, reduce carbon fruit footprint, and create more employment opportunities. As you are aware, the decade of gas was launched to achieve the federal government's drive of annexing the nation's gas reserves, aiming to increase Nigeria's utilization of gas for power, as well as emerging as a major gas exporter. NMPC plays an active role in realizing the intended benefits of its initiative, and we are also collaborating with the federal government on the National Gas Expansion Program to promote the use of compressed natural gas to power vehicles. Also speaking, Chairman of the Impact Investors Foundation and former Group Executive Director of NMPC, Engineer Afolabi Oladele, lauded the book for its comprehensive insights into the gas value chain, saying it will be relevant to policymakers amid the global energy transition. Gas link is discussed in this book and its transformational impact on the, on the several seven industrial areas of Lagos provide proof of what could have been replicated on the national scale where Nigerian industries provided with reliable energy supply and fee stock would have transformed this country into a powerhouse of petrochemical products of all kinds. The launch of the book will increase the awareness and significance of gas in the contemporary energy mix. NNPC Limited's fight against crude oil theft and pipeline vandalism continues to record success with partnership from private firms and security agencies. 
The industry-wide collaboration reaffirms stakeholders' determination to end crude oil thefts, infrastructure vandalism, and economic sabotage. Here's a summary of the recent developments in the ongoing war. The war on crude oil theft is on and the industry-wide security collaboration on hydrocarbon infrastructure continues to record remarkable progress. Between the 6th and 12th of April 2024, a total of 150 incidents were recorded across several locations in the Niger Delta region from several incidents sources. Here in Soku River State, divers go underwater to disconnect a valve key from an illegal loading point. The operation is carried out under the supervision of the Nigerian army. 32 illegal connections were discovered in the past week across different locations in Rivers and Abia states, causing oil spills. Here, oil leaks from a pipeline in Eleme River State. In the New Calabar River, a dump barge used for storing stolen crude was discovered hidden in the Cawthorn Creek Channel around OML 18 territory in River State. At a wellhead in Kula Axis, south of the Nembe Creek trunk line in River State, the vandals managed to illegally connect the equipment to steal crude oil, but abandoned the scene of the crime. Tanteta and Maton team are seen here dismantling the illegal connections made by vandals. In Kula River State, a hose is seen connected to a wellhead. It's a similar scenario at Umwajluke in River State. 16 cases of pipeline vandalism were reported in the past week. In Bile, Okaki, Ako, Obibu, Abiyama, and Umwajiluke in River State, and Obuzo in Abia State, several illegal refineries were uncovered and destroyed. Several illegal storage sites were also discovered in drums, sacks, and pits in Bayelsa, Delta, Akwaibom, and River State. On land, five vehicle arrests were made in Uyo and River State. On water, 29 wooden and fiber boats conveying stolen crude were apprehended and confiscated in Bayelsa, Delta, and River State. 18 of these incidents took place in the deep blue water, 12 in the western region, 69 in the central region, and 51 in the eastern region. Between the 6th and 12th of April 2024, 40 suspects were arrested. For NNPC Limited, there is no backing down on the war on crude oil theft until the menace is eradicated for good. To report crude oil theft or suspicious activities within your area, call the numbers on your screen now or send an email to report at stopcrudetheft.com. Handsome rewards await the whistleblower. Do your part. Report oil theft today. We'll take a short break here, but when energy and you return, tell the more stories. Please stay. What do we do at NNPC? Since inception as the National Oil Company of Nigeria, our mandate has been to serve the nation by meeting the energy needs of over 200 million people. Over the years, we have invested in tomorrow's leaders and contributed to the development of communities across the nation. We have grown a network of over 500 service stations. We are the driving force behind the constantly growing Nigerian economy. With an efficient distribution network servicing all parts of the country, we ensure the highest quality standards in our crude refining processes. Nigeria boasts of immense oil and gas reserves which we explore in commercial quantities, providing endless opportunities for economic development. As we drilled for oil, we discovered vast amounts of gas, up to 200 trillion scop. By harnessing gas, we have reduced gas flaring and invested in liquefaction plants, shipping gas across the globe. Our energy footprint is remarkable. We supply gas to the domestic market for power generation, reaching all across Nigeria. Powering everything, anywhere 
everywhere. NNPC, energy for today, energy for tomorrow. Oh, energy for tomorrow. So come on, come on, let's go. Thanks for staying with us. Now, NNPC Limited's core values of integrity, excellence, and sustainability are not mere slogans. That was a strong statement made by Folashade Adeke, director of NNPC Academy, in a lecture delivered at the University of Abuja. Among other things, the lecture also captured the leadership trajectory in the company. We have the details. The director, in a lecture titled Career and Leadership in the Oil and Gas Industry, at the University of Abuja School of Business, said NMPC Limited's core values, mission, and vision are the driving force of the company. As a limited liability company, she said NMPC Limited is committed to its mandate of guaranteeing energy security of the nation and delivering value to its shareholders through efficient and sustainable services. In NMPC, we have three core values. What we have done is to put all our values into three buckets. So it's not just these three core values that we have, but these three core values define who we are. When you put our vision, our mission, and the core values together, by the way, I was privileged to have been part of those who came up with this. In the transition of the PIA, I was part of the implementation committee of PIA. So we had to work night and day. So for us, our core values are IES, integrity, excellence, sustainability. These are what we have committed to as NMPC. Energy security is very critical. That is why even when other filling stations are not selling, we must sell. Because we must make sure that this energy is provided. And then for us as NMPC, it is a role that we must play to support and provide domestic energy to the most common person. Speaking earlier, the coordinator of the school, Professor Isa Abdurrahim, said NMPC Limited is blessed with intellectuals, citing Professor Billy Okoye, a former group executive director in NMPC, who is now the coordinator, oil, gas and energy marketing at the business school. The director, who was represented by Dr. Bisong, commended Mrs. Adekeye for honoring the invitation. You are coming is a serious adding value to the system and we are lucky to have our outstanding professor Billy he has been wonderful you gave us this man so we, we give you a round of applause to be honest we didn't know how this man God just manufactured this man and sent to us so we thank God for his humility and everything so if not where we will have been for us to have a class like this is his work so, to be honest, so you can imagine the, the vice president of Ghana came to commission this place. So this man have long leg. Please let's give him a hand. <laughs> so we thank God. Thank you very much, and uh, we are hoping every day to receive you in good faith. Anytime, anytime you wish to be here, just tell us. We will make the conducive environment for you to come. On his part. Professor Billy Okoye celebrated Mrs. Adekeye as a great ambassador of the NMPC. In business school, our courses are designed to be practical. So today we have a practicing professional. And that's what we do in business schools like what we do also do in Harvard. We bring in professionals, practicing professionals to come and let us know how things are done practically. So this morning we have the privilege of having the director of NMPC Academy. She has come with her colleagues to speak to us on this very topical issue, career and leadership in the oil and gas, uh, oil, gas and energy industry, using a case study of NMPC. The lecture is in furtherance of the synergy between the industry and academia, which will foster growth and development of the industry. 
Introducing NNPC Foundation, established to set the pace for corporate social interventions in Nigeria and other key markets through capacity development programs, health-oriented initiatives, environmental sustainability, and providing access to energy. We are poised to empower and enrich the lives of Nigerians in a way that is sustainable, enduring, and impactful. We are not just another foundation. We are NNPC Foundation, creating a sustainable impact for a better tomorrow. And here's where we draw the curtains on the show today. We do hope you have enjoyed watching. If you missed any of the episodes, you can catch up by scanning the QR code on your screen now. Don't forget to visit and follow us on all our social media handles showing on your screen. Remember to subscribe and share the content from our YouTube channel as well. I'm Elvusa Igumbo. See you again same time next week. Bye.